Form videos. Uh, this is the Pete's Premium Parlay Show for NFL Week 11 College Football Week 12. Just did uh, College Football Week 12. Now we're going to get into a uh, NFL Week 11, and uh, you know this is a little bit of a tough card, tricky card in the NFL this week. A big factor is that there's a lot of um, uh, you know borderline, really crappy weather uh, on the report for for most of these teams, for a lot of these games, and uh, that'll factor, of course, obviously both in the spread and the totals. Uh, a lot of the totals in these games uh, went down by about you know point and a half or two points. Uh, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, and, and that's why. So there's a little bit of a monkey wrench. And then even on top of that, uh, you know, the card itself, it was uh, is a little bit tricky. Uh, one of my favorite, maybe my favorite NFL handicapper uh, that we do calls with, Scott Kellen, uh, didn't do a call with us this week. And he told me he just, there's no line on the card that he quote unquote was in love with. You know, he's very careful about his reputation. And, uh, you know, that's very telling. It's kind of a lot, all the games might have a small edge here or there, but uh, nothing sticking out. Very telling that Scott Kellen passed on the games this week. So I'm going to wind up um, doing a pretty safe, just two-teamer. You know, hopefully it'll hit two totals. I'll get into that in a second. The most interesting line, though, on the line movement is the, uh, the Jacksonville game, right? Previewed that game with Brandon Shively. He made a great argument for liking Jacksonville. At the time it was six and a half. Now it's eight. So, you know, I don't know what's going on there. Jacksonville obviously, you know, home dog of that size. Arizona probably should not be giving near double digits on the road to anyone. But if you look at Jacksonville game, game Jacksonville's game last week, you know, they had they had a fumble on the, you know, first possession with uh, with Tennessee, so they got the ball, you know, inside the 20 in the first quarter. Uh, just, just it's kind of a gift there. So it could have been a little bit fluky. MJD, do you really trust him? I mean, we could, I could easily see this game going back to Jacksonville, you know, having problems getting into, you know, double digit scoring at home. So it makes me a little bit nervous. Uh, you know, the line has gone up and what's really weird is that Brent also told me Jacksonville is a sharp side, both on the first half line and on the full game line. So line doesn't quite make sense to me. Brandon Chively liked it at six and a half. Brent tells me it was the, it was the most notable sharp side that he saw. All week, so you know, probably Jacksonville plus eight is the right side. I almost put it in here, but then I decided, ah, eh, screw it. I'm, uh, I'm going to pass. Then uh, let's see what else. What else do we have here? What else is going on? Yeah, Washington, Philadelphia. That's an interesting one. I previewed that game with Troy, and I said, I, one thing I can definitely tell you about this game is that uh, the over 52 or 52 and a half is going to be a big public side. And Troy said, yeah, maybe it is, but I like it. Troy liked the over 52 and a half. And then I talked to Brent, and Brent said that the over is, in fact, a big public side, and it's also a big sharp side. And that makes Brent very nervous. He always hates that when the sharps and the public come in on the same side. That's happened a bunch of times with Denver this year, and that side is always cashed. So, you know. The over, it's currently 53. I almost put that one in the parlay. It uh, looks like there could be a little bit of uh, iffy weather at Philly this week, although not as bad as like in places like Pitt and Buffalo. But, you know, probably it's still a sharp side. Probably still has some value at 53, but uh, I decided against. But again, sharps are on it. Public's on it. Troy West liked it. Another game I, I, I uh, handicapped with Troy West, which has a similar um, – which had a similar uh, – uh, a result, according to according to Brent, is a Cincinnati game, right? I previewed the game with with Troy. Cincinnati minus five and a half at the time, and uh, you know I thought, you know, how can you possibly bet Cincinnati is that big of a favorite, especially off, against a team coming off a bye? Troy said he liked Cincinnati, and then I talked to Brent from Bet DSI, and that was another sharp side that he took. He said he took money on Cincinnati at minus five, minus five and a half, and at the money lines when it was there. Now it's six and six and a half, and that move was caused by sharp action, according to Brent. And uh, Troy likes it. All right, that's great. Probably these guys are all right. Makes me very nervous, and there's no way I'm going to bet it or put it in the parlay. All right, moving on to uh, to some other uh, sides. Let's see what else did Sharp tell me? Did, did, did Brent tell me about? All right, yeah. Then he said there was sharp action on the Detroit Pit total at 48 on the under. Now it's 46. That also has a sharp public split. Sharps were on the under 48, and the public is on the over 46 or 46 and a half. That's one I almost included here. Uh, but, you know, it's 46 now, so I would have had to have, had to have taken 46. You know, it, it's also dependent on the weather holding up as being crappy. Uh, if the weather winds up being even more crappy than the, uh, than the weather report says right now, then that'll probably, you know, crash even further down to 44 and a half or something like that. As of now, though, sharp public split. Sharps are on the under 48. I almost took it at under 46 for the parlay, but, you know, decided against it. If the weather clears up, you know, Matt Stafford and those guys can certainly put up the points in a hurry. We saw what the uh, pit defense can give up. Again, when they uh, against um, against New England a couple weeks ago. All right, let's see, and that's it for for sharp action from. Um, oh, he also said that the sharps took the uh, over forty two and a half in Tampa Bay Atlanta. 
Now it's 43 and a half. I don't get that, but uh, you know, good for them. I'm sure it is sharp. All right. The two, the two picks that I'm going to go with here, two totals. First one's going to be the Bills under, and that's now 41. So that's obviously a key number in, in totals in the NFL. You know, again, there's, uh, there's uh, crappy weather in the report for that game. Jets, Bills, Bills not scoring well recently at all. The Jets are off of their bye, and their D is, you know, has been very good this year, especially stopping the run. So, you know, we get, uh, you know, kind of a stagnant offense with the Bills, hopefully a good defensive effort by the Jets, you know, crappy weather keeping the, uh, the score low. And uh, I think that the under 41 is, is probably going to be wind up being a decent play. So I'll take that one under 41. That's minus 110 at TSI. And then I'm also going to tail Joe Duffy's other pick, which is the over in the Oakland Houston game. And when, when I previewed it with him, he liked the over. It was 41 and a half. Now it's down to 41. And that could very well be because of uh, injury news for Terrell Pryor. I strongly suspect that we're going to find out that Pryor uh, is going to be out for this game. And if that does happen, you know, the line will probably go even lower than 41, probably down to 40 and a half or 40. But, you know, when that happens, a lot of times, you know, the backup quarterback gets a lot of support for the first game back. And Houston, you know, Case Keenum's been doing all right. Probably going to pass more than they run because they're having issues at, at running back, as we know. And 41, low total when it hits 41. And I'm, I'm already leaning towards the over. Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, that, that makes me happy to see. And Joe Duffy, guy's freaking amazing, right? 19 and 8 against the spread so far in his, uh, just in his videos with us. He's been doing great at his site. He gave us a winner on the Thursday over, which I did tail. That one also went down, and then it went down, then it went back up. But I took that one at uh, 41 and a half and 41 on the advice of Joe Duffy. Joe likes the over in Oakland-Houston, so I'm going to tail him on that one. That's my second pick, Oakland-Houston, which is right now 41 minus 110, straight, flat at uh, Bet DSI. So those are the two picks, Bills under 41, Oakland-Houston over 41, Simple two-team parlay, $100 to win, two sixty four forty six, And that's my Pete's Premium Parlay for NFL Week 11. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll do this again next week.